Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching TechBurner. In the previous video, I showed you the Android Oreo boot animation concept that I made and I asked you guys to get 50 likes to motivate me. Turns out you guys went all out on that one and the video was over 50 likes in a matter of hours. I was really motivated to make this video and because you guys showed so much love, I with the boot animation, I added two more mods. So thanks for that and go all out on the subscribe button on this one also because why not I'll make more videos like this and let's start. So for this boot animation you will require root access and you will also require a file manager that has root access so you can make changes to the system and the next step would be the obvious one open the file manager and enable the root explorer on the file manager i will attach a link to the boot animation zip file in the description below you will have to select that according to your phone's screen size if your phone is 1080p you will have to select the 1080p file i'll have the 720p version and i'll also have the 1440p version so open your file manager app and browse to the file where you have stored it and copy it from there and paste it to slash system slash media. There would already be a boot animation file. Either you can replace this or I would suggest you rename the previous file to some other file and copy the new one there. So after you copy the new file there, you'll have to change the permissions of that file. To do that, you'll have to click the properties then there would be permissions so when you go into permissions change them as i did it rwrr i also want to give a huge shout out to andrew craze at xda because he helped me with the problems that i was having with the boot animation and also tested it on his nexus 5 if you are just here for the boot animation then you can skip to some other video of mine uh, but if you want to see the Android Oreo soft keys and change the version number of your phone to Android 8.0, uh, you can stay further. So we'll start with the Android Oreo version number change. You have to do the same deal, open the file manager, browse to the directory that is in the root of the phone slash system. So there would be a file called build.prop. You have to open that file and click on the edit button. After you click on edit, there would be uh, various build properties of the phone. You have to edit ro.build.version.release. It would be the current version of your phone. You have to change the number only to 8.0.0. This won't change your phone's Android version. It will just show the number in the settings menu. After that, you just need to reboot your phone again and you will have the Android version. And for the soft keys, you will need a paid software that is SoftKey Z. Uh, you'll have to buy it for some money and when you open the software you'll have an option to import buttons I'll have the link to the PNG files of the buttons and you can just import them one by one for the home button back button and the menu button And after that you will just have to reboot your phone again Yeah, three reboots in one video your phone will be really tired after this so guys, you have to go all out on the subscribe button because why not you'll have more videos like this and it will also motivate me to make more quality videos and of course you can watch previous videos on my channel.